Yeah, the course was very good. Uh, we really had a, a nice experience, hands-on practice uh, using um, uh, concepts uh, for maths and science. And for maths, it was a paper folding, and most of it, uh, probably part of it, which we really, which we never thought of, which we uh, were very simple tips, which we can now uh, use it for our property teaching. Then the uh, science concepts, really very uh, nice, thrilling. Small, small toys made out. Which maybe during our arrangement time in our KVS, where we can use these toys and uh, engage our children so that uh, the 40 minutes of leisure period, whatever we are going to spend with the children, it will be fruitful and children will uh, come out with uh, more ideas, innovative ideas, which we can reach pinnacles in KVS. This is a very nice, fantastic work workshop. Uh, this is the first workshop where I was learning uh, thoroughly by hands, by doing by hands. Uh. And this is actually learning by doing concept uh, workshop, uh, really very good. I had a very good experience and it was a new exposure for me to uh, take the science in a new dimension. In all these years, we were pointing about only learning from books yeah. and uh, preparing, memorizing something and writing in the examination. If at all we compete the other countries, practically the things to be demonstrated and uh, activity orientation must be effective. So this program and uh, given by Dr. Gaurav and uh, Dr. Manish Ji, it's a really excellent demonstration and all these low cost materials practically very much possible. Definitely if we take all these things to our classes, it will be very effective to our children, then the improvement will be very, very, very good. Uh, I'm very much impressed because uh, what we are doing actually in our education field, we are not so much practical, we are more theoretical. With the uh, daily newspaper yeah. and uh, putting on different types of caps and it shows national integration, also the principles of mathematics, it impressed me a lot. Uh, this is actually a different kind of workshop which I'm attending for the first time in my service. Uh, I joined KVS in the year 2014 and so far all the workshops which I have attended, they were all uh, just, uh, uh, what to say, PowerPoint presentations and all lecture method. But this hands-on method was really very, very useful. We got to know about things uh, in which we can make a class interactive. It was actually thinking out of the box, out thinking out of the syllabus and uh, something which, is, which can make uh, the classroom learning environment quite interesting and quite interactive. I think this is once in a lifetime experience. Everything I like. <laughs> Everything I like. First one is that um, that sound. Yeah. Mm, uh, that is uh, sucking sound air from and blowing air uh, with this showing the different pitch of the sound uh, as well as the centipedal force of that uh, uh, water is blowing as a sprinkler is how it is working. That was a really uh, wonderful one. And uh, mainly it is the uh, first uh, level, first, uh, first day we are having, we had more in 9th standard level. Mm -hmm. So all the concept what you had dealt, everything is in class 9, which actually it is very difficult to bring the adolescent concentrations. Yeah. It's because they will be somewhat, uh, mood swing will be there. But this experiment definitely will bring them in track. Uh, that blowing the pipe. Okay. So that is, it also arose some curiosity within us. That while doing, as we listen and we say that our vocal cords are working because the... Uh, Sound box is working because the vocal cords are vibrating. Most yeah, which what engaged me most was those mathematical foldings. Foldings, yeah. <laughs> that absolutely grabbed us. Uh. Yeah, everything that went on with the magnetic work, okay. the small small toy making, this is more interesting part of it. Uh, where really, uh, and the final thing, the DC motor, where really we have seen so many apparatus at home, how it works. In the days when we learned it, with not full sense we have learned it, but now things are very clear. And maybe we will be able to help the children, even if being a, in spite of being a math teacher, we can help the science children. Uh, Cuban cubit formation by the three-dimensional structure, because it is good as we can make the student learn how the cube is different from the cubit, and how we can move from two-dimensional structure to three-dimensional structure. We can help the student how to learn properties of a rhombus, as well as property of a square, the difference between the property, that's all. We made this DC motor. And actually, initially, I was struggling how to uh, give connections. Basically, even I'm a physics student, 
um, being a math teacher because I had done my honors course. Uh, I had long forgotten, 18 years back I had done my physics. But now uh, attending this workshop, it's, it was just like reminiscing all my old uh, memories. I should say it's entirely different because there was no theory at all here. And uh, it was entirely doing things. Actually in our in-service courses also, we have a lot of this kind of thing. But in that, it is not possible to make each candidate do, each participant do. So we used to generally have very talented people demonstrating stuff. And those of us who can do. This is different in the sense that each one of us is given kit to do. So this is better definitely. Normally it will be either chalk and talk or lecture and uh, taking notes method. But here everything without uh, writing even a single notes. We learned everything by practice. That is a very, very interesting part of this course. It's really, a, uh, it's not theoretical, it is hands-on, matlab hands-on it. Um, thousand percentage hands-on. All these courses also, it was really, in some way or the other way, every courses are helpful to us. Not comparable, but in this course practically, and with the low cost materials, and practically possible, with all these activities, it can be taken to classes. Three years workshop, they'll have only PPTs and the lecture method will be there. And one or two experiments we will do. But, uh, and they will force us to do our own experiments, which we uh, already there in the textbook. Or we'll see that uh, YouTube or something and we will do. And this is in different direction. Whatever training we do, we are totally uh, preoccupied with uh, our bookish knowledge and uh, our simple this thing. Means we are confined into that only. But when we take into our practical life, it is very different. So this was revealing to me. I don't think I'm qualified to give improvements, <laughs> but maybe I would say a little more time. It took us very little. I mean, by the time we realized what it's about, we are done today. Yeah. It's a good idea. Most of the topics we handled in the workshop were related to our uh, CBC curriculum, but a few topics were a bit, uh, it belonged to, uh, say, like a Bernoulli's principal talk and everything belonged to class 11 and 12. And we would like some more concepts. I'm not telling that we should not brush up all those concepts, but if we introduce much more concepts uh, which are quite related to almost all the topics in our science textbooks and max textbooks, I think it will be really helpful for the teachers as well as the students. Yeah, I would like that these kind of workshops uh, let it be in collaboration in a triangular manner. Uh, that is, in one side students, one side teachers, and one side our parents. So that it will be a collaborative experience and a very new outcome we can achieve. Each child should be provided oh. a kit. If not bought from the market, they have to make on their own yeah. from their environment. This should be for one week, one. not for two days. We need time to incorporate in our syllabus. And uh, for that, we need the materials also. All the students must have the readily available material. So that uh, if these things are made available by a KVS, surely I think will be done by KVS. will be very, very helpful. We would like to be in touch with uh, the mentors and uh, share our small, small suggestions. And if they find it really good, they can give us tips so that we can develop on it. And then we really are uh, seeing for many more such workshops where we in turn want to teach our fellow people. And that was most of it, uh, subject oriented theory and all that. And at this age when we feel that we know all the topics and really hands on work has brought a very great change where we are not again drilled on the same topics but something different where we can use it in our day to day life for children.